also one of our first levels where we've added uh, entirely uh, separate routes throughout the whole way through the level. So you can take the top path up those discs and past our lovely frogs. Um, and it's faster but more dangerous. Or you can take the bottom route as this player here is doing and it's a bit slower but it's a bit safer. There's also the usage of our new water here, which you don't want to get into for too long as it will slow you down. So it's very much a way to kind of like stay above water if you will. Um, and here you can see, you know, there's a balance beam. This is led back into the top path. If you fall down, uh, then you're back into the water. Like, oh, <laughs> unfortunate little bean. Um, but there's also obviously always little drums hidden under the water to help you get through. Oh, okay. And uh, that leads into this lovely little arena section where we have two of our rhinos, which you really want to avoid, otherwise they will knock you off. Um, but they are absolutely amazing. Um, terrifying. Terrifying. They look terrifying. <laughs> but, you know, like, we've got to have some sort of, you know, new thing. So here's our, and then we've got our slime slides, which, you know, lead your way to the end. And again, there's two routes you can take here. You can go through this, like, the slime slide and onto the next one, or you can take this huge drum jump, which will lead you over to the finish. You made that sound far too simple. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Lily Leapers, which is another 60 to 40 player level, uh, which is more themed compared to our gauntlet. So there's a strong focus on using the drums here. And the main way we want players to approach this level, as you can see, all these lovely bouncing beans, is to uh, bounce through the drums and make your way to the end. Uh, so again, leaning into that player choice, we want players to have freedom to, ha as to how they want to approach the level. So here we've got uh, the, the side routes, which are a bit shorter and, you know, give skilled players a reason to kind of like go through there. Or, you know, if players aren't comfortable with doing that, they can still take the central route. And if you fall off, it's no big deal. You can just hop back on. And we've even made it a little bit difficult. Some of them move, some of them are static, you know, uh, really just trying to add just something to make players look at it and go like, oh, that's new, that's different, and you know, approach the level different, so. I mean, I'm really expecting some mid-air collisions in this one. This is gonna be... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one thing to say, bounce your way to the end of the level. It's a whole other to get 60 players to do that. So, uh, you know, you wanna watch out because another player might knock you off. And we come to this final section here where there's the skilled route in the center where, as you can see, some players there trying to zip their way through the middle. Uh, or you can take the safer side route, which again is a bit slower. So it's really up to you as to how you wanna approach this level before dinging your way here across the end.